you have some stuff to catch up on, guys. I have just won a new car. King Archie and Queen Bee up at the airport. I need to figure out something for the for the note. I'm gonna put for Archie failed racing driver. Driver. And what should I put for Queen Bee? Queen Bee, Queen of Bulgaria or something. <laughs> yes, yes, that's a good one. I like that. Queen Bee. Queen. Should we so confused? That's perfect. There we go. That's humor. Comedy, boys. <laughs> Archie. <laughs> And then we got Queen V here. I've just got failed racing driver. I don't know if that's a bit mean. What are you looking at? Pepsi? No, you're looking at the best car in the world. <laughs> he's, he's scuffed it a bit. Oh, look at these rims. Look at these rims. Arch, have you been driving this car? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so, by the state yeah. of the rims. Yeah. <laughs> Only in Monaco do you come to the airport car park. Have Porsche, Porsche, Range, Lotus, another Porsche, Ferrari, Rolls-Royce drop head. Metal, metal, chicken oriental. Oh, we've got a Bentley as well. You're going to be following me as I go on a trip with Kia. Right now, I'm at the wheel of the Kia Stinger GT, which is an absolutely awesome car, which I'll tell you more about. And we're filming a video, so there's some guys in the car, and you may see some camera guys around uh, throughout this video. Basically, we're filming a Kia video, and they're challenging Archie, Becky, and I to different challenges to test the comfort, style, and performance of this car. And it's all a competition, and the winner of the competition who comes out with the best, most engaging, and most creative content actually gets to keep one of these cars for six months. So it goes without saying that I'm very keen to win this competition. Today, I've been challenged with testing the style of this car. So what I've come up with, tell me what you think in the comments down below of this challenge. To test the style by heading to Casino Square, which is the most sort of stylish, iconic place in Monaco, and give it to the valet there and see where he parks it. If he parks it around back on the side, it means it's not that stylish. Whereas if he parks it around front, that means he deems that he was worthy of being parked out the front of the Monaco Casino, which means basically that's as stylish as it gets. All right, guys, we put a stealth cam right there so we don't want to creep out the valet when I give him the car. I'm nervous. My hands are sweaty. Fingers crossed, guys. See you on the other side. Let's see. Oh. Yes, 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 yes! They parked it around front, which officially means this car is stylish. I don't know what could help qualify this car more for style, but have being parked around front at Casino Square Monte Carlo between a Rolls, Porsche, Maserati, and Ferrari. That says a lot, because they could have easily put that round back in the car park or anything like that. So them having parked it there, that's what it's all about. Now I need to go pick up the other boys who were there filming stealth mode. Speaking of style, I should probably walk you guys around the car and how it looks. We're now in Italy, near Genoa. Not too sure what this city is called, but we've driven over and we're going to Lake Como tonight. But I should probably show you around the car. So here it is. Kia Stinger. This thing's going to be available in January of 2018, so I'm told. Five door coupe saloon. So it's got all these cool little uh, air vents. Uh, it's got these really cool, I'll show you more when I do my comfort section. Cruise control uh, selection sort of applications that you can do, which are really, really nice. Nice pair of rims, Brembo brake. The inside is also very stylish. We've got Mercedes like sat nav, Audi like air vents, and just an overall really nice interior. You can see I've been driving this a fair amount. We've got a radio, water. Around the back, we got these doors with the slanted roof line, which continues. We got a, a Harman and Kardon sound system, plenty of leg room. The back is my favorite aspect of this. Comment down below what you think. Aren't these like miniature Maserati Gran Turismo lights almost? And it's kind of got Panamera vibes with this nice slanted uh, boot. It's a hatchback, four exhaust, and then the boot opens like this, and you've got loads of space for, as you can tell, plenty of bags. I know I don't usually do videos on Kias, but this one is so so cool and under the hood when i do performance i'll show you more of all of that is fantastic and really nice to drive really happy surprised by this car i didn't know what to expect as i said i haven't done many videos on kias first kia i've ever driven actually and i'm very impressed and i'm i'm not just saying that i know you may think i'm just saying that but honestly it is very good i'm glad they gave me style to do today because it's probably my uh, one of my favorite bits about the car is the way it looks <laughs> Did you 
join me now somewhere I've always dreamed of coming and I <laughs> I cannot even describe how excited I am to be doing this road. Stelvio Pass. I've never been here before. It's not that far from where I live, but I've never been here. Hairpin after hairpin, I think 48 switchback. Does it get much better than this? Ridiculous. Waterfalls, hairpins, cyclists, more hairpins, mountains, snow. I left my coat in the car, I'm absolutely freezing. Kiev challenged me to test the performance of the car and I've lucked out big time because I've gotten that on Stelvio Pass, so there's no better place to do it. I thought rather than setting myself crazy challenges, it's best to just strip it back, go back to basics and just experience a sports car on one of the best roads in the world. So I'm just gonna drive this thing up and tell you guys what I think about the car. I've got a cameraman next to me. You're about to have a, a tricky time. There's a viewpoint at the top. From here, Google Maps says six minutes. So to test the performance, I have a lap timer on the car. I figured let's time how long it takes us to get from here to the top of the viewpoint. So let's hit it. I'm in Sport Plus mode and on my way up, I'm gonna to talk to you about the stats. Lap timer starting three, two, one, Go! Here we go! Manual, okay, so this car, 3.3 litre twin turbo V6 linked to an 8-speed Kia developed non-ZF gearbox with flappy paddles. We've got 365 brake horsepower in this thing. Rear-wheel drive, limited slip diff, so it does like the slide around. This is not the ideal road to do it because if you cock it up at all, you're dead. There is hardly any body roll, which is amazing because the suspension is still so compliant. I've still got a heated seat on. I've even got a heated steering wheel on. And I'm doing this up Stelvio Pass. This has to be the most beautiful place I have been in my entire life. And that, I genuinely mean we got the cameraman who's suffering a bit right next to me. They've really put lots of effort into the performance. One of the heads of BMW M came along to perform this car. So you can feel some traits. The front end grip is fantastic. The front really goes where you want it to go. Yeah, the brakes feel good. They're developed by Brembo, who are basically the best in the business. The gearbox Kia have done a really good job with. There's not much lag. And the engine is responsive. You wouldn't know it's twin turbo. There's so much responsiveness. There is so much camera gear going around us. What's our time? What's our time? We're at the top. You're joking. We've just done that in two minutes and five seconds. Two minutes, five seconds, guys. Google Maps said six minutes. That's one healthy smelling car now. I never thought I'd be doing Stelvio Pass in a Kia, and I definitely never thought I would enjoy it quite as much as I did. Snow. We've had everything on this trip. We've had sunny t-shirt weather. We've had snow. Look at that down there. Does that not look like an immense amount of fun? And cue the avalanche. <laughs> <laughs> what? That is, I love how the only, the only thing going up it is, is a truck. That's, uh, that's ironic. We're now driving down that section you just saw quite slowly to get drone shots. It is absolutely ridiculous. It's hairpin after hairpin. I mean, look at this in front. These hairpins are so tight, but I, I just can't even describe to you how unbelievably gorgeous this area is. Just slow down a bit, guys. These hairpins are so tight. This is how it works on a shoot. You have a radio and they give you instructions as you go. So we've got Archie behind us. Becky's, I don't know where Becky is. Oh, oh what an amazing drive. We're at the end now. Those are the guys filming. That was, that's one of those experiences I'm, I'm never gonna forget. And thank you for not vomiting all over the place, Cal. <laughs> hmm, so, random. This has happened. We're in Austria now. None of us knew we were coming to Austria, and then all of a sudden we saw an Austria sign. Turns out, we're driving in through Austria. France, Monaco, Italy, and now Austria. Next stop, Switzerland. Um, do you have, all right. Have you ever been to Austria? Mate, I've, so many different countries I'm learning every single day. About learning? Do you learn about countries? Visiting. We're testing the auto light feature on the Kia Stinger. Let's go, and apparently, so right now I have my big lights on. Normally, when another car drives the other way, the big lights should switch off. So, let's give it a go. We need a car. Here it is, here he is, here he is. Hey! Yay! That is so cool. I have to do, I only steer in this car, that's all I do. Is this Switzerland? Oh, yeah. There's no one at the border. We're in Switzerland, guys! Hey! 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 Only six more hours to go. 
Welcome back to the Kia Stinger. Today, Kia challenged me to test the comfort of this car. What I've come up with is setting up this challenge where I'm gonna try and go across Switzerland without using my pedals. This car has adaptive cruise control amongst other things. So we've got a heated steering wheel, heated seats, perforated leather. We've got an amazing sound system, Apple CarPlay, a bunch of different things. It's even got cooled seats. But I've got about an hour's drive to the border into France and I'm going to try to get there by using my adaptive cruise control. So all I do is I press this mode button here and then I set my speed. I've also got lane assist, which means that not only will it keep my speed, I'm just putting it up to the speed limit, not only will it keep my speed, but it will also keep me within my lane. So in theory, I can now almost let go of the steering wheel, which I've been told not to do because, see, it's moving the steering wheel for me, but you have to keep your hands on the wheel. My legs, as you can tell, aren't touching any pedals. The thing that makes this so special and makes it, I believe, hand on heart, the best cruise control I've ever used is that it'll actually take you all the way to a stop. Other cars I've used which have adaptive cruise control well, it won't actually take you to a stop at 30 kilometers an hour. It'll be sort of up to the driver, not up to the system. Whereas this will take you all the way to a stop. You then press a button on the steering wheel and it'll take you back and you'll start again. So for traffic, it's absolutely perfect. I found a cap now. It's getting a little bit uh, sunny. We're about 20 minutes down the road. I've also, as you guys saw in the vlog last night, uh, forgot to mention earlier that the lights that this car has, the auto dimming lights, I guess you'd call them, which automatically switch off the big lights, the high beams, when a car comes the other way. Um, those are another feature which are fantastic for the comfort. I mean, effectively, this car is making you do as little work as possible. So a road trip, which would usually be about five hours long like we're doing today, drive like that's super easy. So you can do 10 hour road trips, no problem alone in this car. Thankfully, I have guys in the in car to keep me entertained. And ways. Roundabout, take the third exit. Okay, I'm not doing anything with my feet now. We're just letting the car go. I don't know if you can tell, my feet are here, they're up. We're not doing anything, it's following the car in front. I'm gonna put my indicator on, the steering wheel starts pushing right, and on we go. That is unreal. It's been so straight since we left about half an hour ago. That was the first proper test, a roundabout. Now, we're continuing again, my feet up here, not doing anything. And now we're onto a dual carriageway and we can just keep cruising. So there's a car pulling out. Uh, uh, do I bail? I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. Is it gonna break? Oh, oh, it breaks quite hard. That's insane. A car just pulled out in front of us. Sorry, we don't have a front facing camera. A car just pulled out in front of us. Now it's gonna speed back up. There it goes. So a car pulling out, it managed to de detect that because the cameras go all the way out to the side of the road. So it detected the car which was pulling out and managed to brake for us. This system is crazy. I thought I'd ask you guys to comment down below on both performance, style and comfort, what you guys think of this car. I'm just intrigued to see what you think. It's an exciting new car I've seen on my Instagram and stuff. There's been a bunch of people very excited to hear what I think about this car. So far, I'm, uh, I'm very impressed. I'm sure there are some areas, you know, there are a few plastics around the, the inside cabin, which aren't great. But then again, compared to the competition, you're paying less. So that's something to be expected. Um, and then one other thing I would really improve on this car is the engine noise. There really isn't much engine noise, um, which is disappointing for a sporty car like this, but there's probably something you can do about that. So of course, no car is perfect. There are small downsides, but overall for the price and for Kia, it's not what I expected at all. It's uh, so comfortable. And I think we've all agreed that we're very happily surprised with it. Um, also comment what are your thoughts on uh, this little goatee action going on? I wanna know what you think. We just missed it, but we've just passed the sign for France. I'm sure the border will be coming up soon, but I don't want to cruise in there and uh, rely on the cruise control because I may come in and break a bit late, which I do not want to do, but it has passed this part of the challenge. As you can tell, the weather here isn't quite as good. We're still on this dual carriageway, which has taken us all the way, but we've done over an hour and 20 minutes without touching the pedals. I'm still not touching the pedals. We're behind a truck right now, following a truck. We've had a quick stop off somewhere quite emotional for this guy. Yeah, yeah. This cool. is the old Reams racetrack and the last person to have ever won a race here yeah. was your grandfather. Yeah, yeah. And so the last race they ever held here, he won it. Pretty much. Is I'm, there a plaque? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, there's a plaque. Wait, show, show us the plaque. Because, the plaque. And it's so eerie and yeah. spooky here. That's his plaque up there. Yeah, yeah. 
and it's got his name on it. And that's when he came second in 54, and then he won it in 56. No way. Yeah, yeah. We're jumping over there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're trying to negotiate our way up to the top here. I don't like oh heights. Oh my god. god. <laughs> oh. This is how you used to sit. This is how you, you used to sit. sit. This is so cool. The pits. Yeah, look All at the, the pit pits, view. commentator You're boxes. We're out of here. Look at where we are. We're gonna use the cameras for this. Look at that. Now that's where that comes in handy. 360 camera view. We're going to England. We're going to England, my boy. No, don't break anything. Don't break anything, Archie. The camera crew having a nap. There they are. In comfort. Total comfort. Greeted by the classic English weather. This is legit. Hmm. So, you have some stuff to catch up on, guys. We just finished the Kia video. I don't know how to put this and be chill at the same time, but I believe, well, actually, yeah, not I believe, I know I have just won a new car. Those are the cars we drove over, and this right here is my new car. Kia Stinger GT Archie. Archie, look, listen. Good performance, well solid done, performance. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm looking for for you for showing me around everywhere, mate. I will do. I will do. I also yeah. want to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone who helped out on this project, the whole crew, everyone. It's been unbelievable. This car, I'm going to give you a full tour. You're going to be seeing it a bunch. I'm going to be driving it every single day. But uh, I'll just give you a sneak preview. Oh, oh, oh. It's insane. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for always giving me so much support. This was all down to your engagement and everything. So you guys have literally made this car possible. And it's a dream come true for me. I mean, to be able to have a car like this for the next six months is insane. So thank you guys so, so much, honestly. And I'll see you soon. Please remember to subscribe and like if you haven't already. And I'll see you soon. Cheers.